in today's video, I am going to share with you guys my 20 quick tips on how to disinfect your car from coronavirus, also known as the COVID-19 or any other bacteria as of such. And not just that, I am also going to share with you a bonus tip at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. I am pretty sure that I don't have to tell you guys about what is happening in this world. I mean, if you guys are from India, you will be definitely watching something like this. Wash your hands with soap more frequently and for at least 20 seconds. As well as this. Aao, saath milkar, coronavirus ko India mein phehlne se roke. But in case you are someone who is out of this world, were living under a rock or were buried down in the ground. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, is a worldwide health pandemic that is spreading around the whole world. Coronavirus started off in Asia, moved to Europe, then in United States and then arrived in India. Now, doctors, scientists, as well as the folks of the WHO are giving out information on how to prevent coronavirus. And you can do that by keeping the surfaces of your workplace as well as your home clean. And also by maintaining your own personal hygiene by wearing a mask, practicing social distancing, and also by washing your hands every now and then for at least 20 seconds. And on that note, I would like to appreciate and give a huge shout out to my boy Bunty. God damn right. Well, jokes apart, in this time of lockdown and quarantine and chill with doctors as well as scientists, even I am doing my part in spreading the awareness. But before getting in this video, let's aim for 100 likes on this video. So smash that like button if you haven't already because guys, trust me, coming up with a car content for you guys in this lockdown and quarantine period is a huge, huge task. So I do deserve a like for that one. So just go ahead and smash the like button right away. And also, please do share this video with your friends and your family to spread the awareness of COVID-19 with them as well. And also, you can share with me your current quarantine and chill routine in the comment section down below. So, with that being said, how to disinfect your car from coronavirus, also known as the COVID-19 or any other bacteria in 20 simple steps coming up. Hey guys, this is KSO and you're watching KSO Designs, the channel which brings you all the automotive information, DIY mods, car reviews, bike reviews, product reviews and also some quick tips and hacks. So if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. So with that being said, let's begin with today's video. So let's go. So the things required to disinfect your car are a glass cleaner which is obviously a disinfectant too, an interior upholstery disinfectant an alcohol-based hand sanitizer, a microfabric cloth, and also, obviously, a surgical mask. And remember guys, I have also added a Best Buy link in the description down below for you guys to purchase from. My first tip of the day for you guys is, clean the key. The key of your car is what you touch on a day-to-day -day basis and it tends to grow bacteria on it. So, what you can do is, you can pour some alcohol-based hand sanitizer on a microfabric cloth and clean the key thoroughly and then you are good to go. My second tip of the day is to clean the outside rearview mirrors. That is nothing but the ORVMs. Whenever you start your day, you open up your ORVMs of the car for a proper view of the rear. Your constant touch makes the surface of the ORVMs prone to attract any kind of bacteria or else virus on it. To prevent that, take a disinfectant like window cleaner or else an interior trim disinfectant and spray on the ORVM. Then clean the surface with a microfiber cloth thoroughly. This will help you clean the ORVM properly. My third tip of the day is to clean your door handles thoroughly. It is pretty obvious that in order to start your day with your car, you will have to open the doors using the door handles itself. And you definitely don't have any other alternative for that. That contact or touch of yours with the door handle makes any bacteria to rest on it. To prevent that, use the window cleaning disinfectant or any interior trim disinfectant and spray on it. And then clean the door handles thoroughly with a microfiber cloth from the outside as well as the inside. This will help you clean the door handles of your car properly as well as thoroughly. My fourth tip of the day is to clean the interior door handles of your car properly. It is pretty obvious that if you use the outside door handles of your car to open your car from the outside, 
you will be definitely using the inside door handles to open it from the inside as well. This will in turn make the bacteria to rest on it. To prevent this, you can pour the interior trim disinfectant on a microfiber cloth and clean the ins and out of the inside door handles thoroughly. My fifth tip of the day is to clean all the AC vents of your car properly. You might not be noticing it, but you touch the AC vents of your car quite frequently. And this in turn makes the AC vents of the car to be prone to any kind of bacteria or viruses. You can prevent this from happening by pouring the interior trim disinfectant on a microfiber cloth and cleaning all the AC vents of your car thoroughly. My sixth tip of the day is to clean the infotainment system of your car properly. If you are a music lover like me and don't want to be bored to death while driving your car, you will be definitely using the infotainment system of your car in order to entertain yourself on a day to day basis. Your constant touch to change the radio stations or adjust the volume makes the surface of your infotainment system to attract bacteria or viruses. You can prevent this from happening by pouring the interior trim disinfectant on a microfiber cloth and cleaning the infotainment system of your car very thoroughly. My 7th tip of the day is to clean the air conditioning controls of your car properly. Unless you aren't Iceman from the X-Men and don't want to be drenched in sweat, you will be definitely using the AC of your car and will be adjusting the temperature as well. This constant control of yours makes the control of the AC to be prone to bacteria or viruses. To prevent this, use the microfiber cloth with the interior trim disinfectant poured on it and clean those controls thoroughly. My 8th tip of the day is to clean the gear knob of your car properly. Whether you drive an automatic car or a manual car, you touch the gear knob or the gear selector of your car quite frequently. This constant touch of yours to change the gears makes the gear knob or the gear selector of your car prone to attract any kind of bacteria or viruses. You can prevent that from happening by cleaning the gear knob or the gear selector of your car properly with a microfiber cloth with an interior trim disinfectant poured on it. My 9th tip of the day is to clean the glove box and all the storage compartments of your car thoroughly. The glove box of your car is prone to any kind of bacteria or viruses. You can clean it up by pouring the interior trim disinfectant on the microfiber cloth and cleaning the glove box properly. Make sure to clean both the outer surface as well as the inner surface of the glove box. Bacteria are measured as colony forming units, also known as the CFU. You will be amazed to know that the cup holders of your car has the highest amount of colony forming units with a CFU number of a whopping 1179 CFU. So as you can guess, my 10th tip of the day is to clean the cup holders of your car properly and thoroughly. You can do that by spraying the interior trim disinfectant in the cup holders of your car or by pouring it on a microfiber cloth and cleaning the ins and out of the cup holder properly and thoroughly. My 11th tip of the day is to clean all the seats and even the armrests of your car properly and thoroughly. The seats of your car tend to get quite dirty frequently. So it is advisable to clean the seats of your car on a day to day basis to prevent them from attracting any kind of bacteria or viruses. It is quite simple to clean them. Just pour some interior upholstery disinfectant on the seats or on the microfiber cloth and clean all the seats nicely and thoroughly. Moving on to the 12th tip, my 12th tip of the day is to properly clean the ins and out of the seat adjustment lever. We use seat adjustment levers to adjust our seats properly on a day to day basis. This contact of ours with the seat adjustment levers makes them quite dirty and prone to attract any kind of bacteria or viruses. You can clean them by pouring the interior trim disinfectant on them or on the microfiber cloth and cleaning the seat adjustment levers properly. My 13th tip of the day is to clean all the seat belts of your car properly. Every single day we use seat belts and wear them for our own safety. This constant contact of ours with the seat belt makes them prone to any kind of bacteria or viruses. So it is advisable to clean all the seat belts of your car by using the interior upholstery disinfectant on it and cleaning them with a microfiber cloth. My 14th tip of the day is to clean the dashboard of your car. It's quite a habit of the people sitting in the passenger seat to keep something or the other on the dashboard of the car. And not just that, 
The dashboard of the car is the most ignored spot of the car which makes it prone to any kind of bacteria or viruses. So, clean the dashboard of your car with the help of an interior trim disinfectant and a microfiber cloth. My 15th tip of the day is to clean the window control buttons properly. We use these buttons every single day which in turn makes them prone to attract bacteria and viruses. So, pour the interior trim disinfectant directly on them or on a microfiber cloth and give it a nice thorough rub. My 16th tip of the day is to clean the window adjustment lever properly if you don't have rare power windows. These window adjustment levers tend to come in contact of your hands while operating them and in turn become prone to bacteria or viruses. So, just pour the interior trim disinfectant on the microfiber cloth and clean the window adjustment lever properly and thoroughly. Well, do you guys know the steering wheel of your car is dirtier than an average toilet seat with a colony forming unit of a whopping 692 CFU while that of a toilet seat just 172 CFU. So my 17th tip of the day is to clean the steering wheel of your car properly and thoroughly because the daily use of the steering wheel and your touch to it makes it prone to any kind of bacteria or viruses. So, just spray some window cleaner disinfectant or an interior trim disinfectant on a microfiber cloth and clean the steering wheel in and out properly and thoroughly. My 18th tip of the day is to clean the wiper controls as well as the side indicator controls of your car nicely. The daily and frequent use of wiper controls as well as side indicator controls make them prone to bacteria as well as viruses. So, it is advisable to clean these controls with some interior trim disinfectant and a microfiber cloth thoroughly. Before telling you the most important tip of the day, the 19th tip of the day is to always keep a tissue box in your car and obviously a car dustbin to throw those tissues in. This tissue box comes in handy when there is a sick person travelling with you in your car. And now, coming to the most important tip of the day, my 20th tip of the day is to clean the cabin air filter of your car very very thoroughly. By sucking in and filtering the outside impure air, the cabin filter of your car gets very very dirty and forms a layer of dust on it. You can clean this interior air filter with the help of a toothbrush and by brushing off and dusting off all the dust on it. Make sure to clean all the slots of the cabin air filter thoroughly. And guys, now it's time for me to share with you guys my bonus tip. And my bonus tip for you guys is that just don't drive your car until it's very much necessary. Guys, most of the countries are on a lockdown right now, including our own. And trust me when I say this, this lockdown is for our own good. And trust me guys, only and only by self-isolating ourselves and following the rules of the WHO can we stop the spread of coronavirus in the whole world. So, stop touching your face frequently, maintain social distance, wear a mask whenever you step outside your house and use only and only alcohol-based sanitizers. And guess what? That's all you'll have to do to stop the spread of coronavirus in the whole world. So guys, that over there were my 20 quick tips on how to disinfect your car from coronavirus or any other bacteria. So that's all for today. I hope you have liked the video. If you have liked the video, please do like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you want to subscribe, just click on the button over here. And don't forget to press on the bell icon so that you can get notified each and time I upload a new video. So guys, that's all for today. Hope to see you in the next video. Till then, stay home, stay safe. And this is Keso signing off. See ya.